worldwide is Music City USA. Its legacy is built on one foundation. The art of the song. This is Words and Music. Now, here's your host, Harry Chapman. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for dropping by for this edition of Words and Music. We're having a great conversation with Jim Fotoglou and Bill Lloyd. Guys, that you know if you've been around the national music community for very long because they have been incredibly successful, not only as artists, but as songwriters as well. And we're so delighted to have both of you with us. And Jim, I guess uh, LA's loss is Nashville's game because uh, you was it that you got tired of Los Angeles and I got to get out of here and did the James Taylor thing. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I came here for a visit and looked around and went, what? <laughs> <laughs> really? I, yeah, I just fell in love with it. Ten minutes after I landed, I said, "This, I'm moving." Yeah, and you you had your own record deal there for a while. Well, I made a couple of pop records in the early '80s. Yeah, and songs from those records started getting re-recorded by other artists, many yeah. of which were here. Yeah, and then and then I thought it was interesting that you've written for everybody from Marty Robbins to the Everly Brothers to uh, Garth Brooks to you, you name it. And there's a whole plethora of uh, artists that you've written for. Well, I started when I was five. You <laughs> said, and, so. <laughs> and Bill and I were ten. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, let's start with one song that's. Uh, an older song, but it's getting some new recognition that the Nitty Gritty Dirt brand, uh, band did called uh, Fishing of the Dark. Yeah, it was a uh, number one record for them in 1987. And uh, an article just came out in uh, Billboard uh, in August saying 27 years later, country music is still hooked on Fishing in the Dark. And it, it quoted all the different country songs that have referenced the song, all the different country artists who performed the song when they were in club bands. And uh, and it's still, they quoted, they quoted the fact that if it were still considered a a, a current country single, uh -huh. it would be number 57 because it's still getting so much radio play. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. Would and you do it for us now? Absolutely. Fishing in the Dark, uh, Jim Photoglow. Wendy Waldman was your co-writer. Absolutely. That. are singing and the lightning bugs are floating on the breeze baby get ready across the field where the creek turns back by the old stump road I'm gonna take you to a special place that nobody knows baby get ready
Now you can see why it's still there at all time if it were out number 57 again. Thank you, Jim. Fishing in the dark. We'll have more with Jim Photoglow and Bill Lloyd on this edition of Words and Music right after this.